Hey guys, welcome back to Boxer Gaming. So I've got a couple of questions here recently um, asking how the chess stuff works. So that's mainly from people who haven't watched the whole Let's Play. Um, so let's let's go through it step by step. So the first step, obviously, and um, we're going to do it in an easy way as well. So let's have a look at the full way of making sticks. So if you press this button, it'll make sticks and it'll come up in this chest. Um, and let's just look at a process of how that works. Um, and from that, you can see pretty much everything else. So, first of all, sticks need wooden planks. Wooden planks need wood. So, we'll have to start with the basics with wood. Now, wood has a button that's actually not right. So, let's remove that, shall we? There we go. Um, wood is constantly being made. And I'm making that using the... Um, let's just go down somewhere. And I'm making that using a red power tree farm. So this has nothing to do with buttons, this just runs continuously. I've just turned it off now because I had enough wood. Um, but there's just a mining turtle. Chops down all the trees and all the um, wood goes up. So that's the first step. Uh, oh, kind of lost my way here. <laughs> it's getting quite confusing at times. So the next step is to have all this wooden planks and don't just ignore the redstone. Um, turn into wooden planks. So to turn the wood into wooden planks. So we've got this much now, but if I want to make more, I'll just press it a couple of times. And behind this wall is a wireless transmitter. So this is uh, number one, and it'll send a signal to, to number one, wooden planks right here, to this receiver here. So every single item in the game, or well, not in the game yet, but every item that I can make in the game this way has a little room like this. And it'll have, have a receiver going to a retriever. And you can see the retriever is getting four planks. Every time you press the button, it gets four planks um, from the automatic crafting table. And the automatic crafting table is just one wood and makes it into four planks. So to keep the um, automatic crafting table supplied at all times, we use a retriever and retrieve you later um, combination. So the retrieve you later, pretty much what it does, it has two sides. Um, it, uh, the way I have it set up here is it checks if the right side, the T side, has 64 wood in it, which at the moment it does. Uh, then it turns the left side off. And the left side is a retriever at this moment. You can see it. So, um, so now at the moment it's off. So you can see there's a jammer in here, retriever jammer. So it doesn't get any more wood because there's already 64 in there. Uh, if there's not 64 in there, and I can just show you that by taking it out, you can see the retriever starts working, and it'll get one wood at a time, and that's just the value I put in the R. Now, once it gets 64 again, and I'll just put 64 back in there, um, it'll be jammed again. So that's the way it works. So that's the way we make wooden planks. So that's the, that's the second step. Oh, what the hell's happening? <laughs> so the first step is wood which we're always making constantly um the next step is wooden planks which are made in that little room the next step is sticks um, and sticks as you know need wooden planks as well so let's have a look here sticks is number two which is right here so nice and easy again same little room you know uh, it, it's pretty much exactly the same uh this retriever sorry not uh this wireless um receiver also powers a transmitter and this is the same transmitter number so one because every time we make sticks we use wood wooden planks so we need to remake those wooden planks again so anytime you make uh, sticks it'll automatically make the planks for you as well so this um, re receiver um, goes to the retriever that has four sticks in it so every time it pulls four sticks out of this and as you know two wooden planks makes four sticks so you can see this is together is 64 planks and the same setup retrieve later it'll get two planks at a time for 64 wood and the reason it's two planks because you need two two planks to make a stick so yeah exactly the same system at the moment it's jammed because there's enough wooden planks in there now that's pretty much the basics and it'll, it'll even the most complicated things like let's have a quick look at the timer uh, which is, uh, who, where is it? Here, I think. Timer. So, a timer, as you know, needs 
stone wafers, stone wires, stone pointers, stone cathodes, and stone anodes. So it's, it's pretty complicated. But the process is exactly the same. We have a retrievulator, which wants at least all these items in the, in the um, automatic crafting bench. If it doesn't, it'll pull these items. Uh, and there's a few in here as well, because I'm running out of those, so it'll keep pulling these, but there's none. Now, every time you want to make a timer, we also need to make a, I, I think, I don't, I don't know how much, but I think 16 is stone wafers, 18 is stone wire, I think that's stone anode or something. Um, so yeah, anytime you make a timer, it automatically re recreates the materials required as well. And 16 is stone wafer, I know that pretty certain, I think it's here. Uh, nope. It's here. Nope. <laughs> It's here. So this is to make a stone wafer, um, which is an aloe furnace, a blue electric furnace, sorry. And it's making wafers. Now to make wafers, you need stone. So that's number eight. So anytime this gets activated, it also makes stone. And if we go to number eight, uh, which is the stone production, uh, which should be right here. You can see that the stone production is another blue electric furnace making stone out of cobblestone. So that way you can sort of see that even the most complicated items are getting pretty easy to make um, a new room for because all the basic materials are already being made automatically. So let's have a quick look at the uh, sorting machine then and what all this means and how it works. So this is uh, all the pipelines or at least half of them I think. Um, Let's go to the most simple one, because they all work the same way. Uh, why is that gravel? Oh, probably an enderman. <laughs> Oink. Uh, so this thing is making, I think it's sticks, isn't it? Let's see. Yep, sticks. So uh, this retriever is the one that gets all the basic materials needed. Um, and this pipe is connected to the main pipeline and it's sort of like a, um, a shortcut line. It doesn't go through all the other sorting machines. It goes straight to all the chests. So it's directly connected to all the chests. Um, so all these chests here, for example, these have this has sticks, that has wooden planks, that has wood in it. So uh, it can get the materials right from the chest. Um, this line here is the finished product. So anytime we activate this retriever, it makes four sticks. And those four sticks get a color brown. So these sticks are made, are being sent through this pipeline and it goes underground. Um, eventually it goes, it comes all the way, la, 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 it comes out here, same pipeline. So it goes all the way underground. And it comes up here, you can see it's painted brown as well. And this is the main sorting facility, which at the moment is quite small, um, but of course I'll extend it. So the stick comes in here it's being checked in here if it's in this list. Now, for the stick, it is. So it gets the color white. And then it's being sent downwards. Because there is some white. Now, actually, I think this is not working properly. Um, I think I should change this. I think at the moment, sticks are also being sent in here. But that, that's fine for now. Um, yeah, so if the item is not in here, so say, for example, do I have in here, say, a lever. Uh, leave is not in here, so it's being sent into this sorting machine, and then it'll is assigned a color yellow, for example. Now, as you can see, there's um there's eight rows in this. So what I decided to do was have one sorting machine for every eight chests. Um, yeah. So as you can see, the orange color has five plus three eight items in it. So let's follow the levers, for example. It gets assigned a yellow collar, so it goes down here, uh, down this pipeline, it goes underground, and it'll come up to one of these sorting machines. And these are the end sorting machines, so for example, it can go here, here, there, or there, etc. But because it has the yellow collar, it'll go into this sorting machine right here. Um, and you can see the lever in here, it'll go to the cyan collar. And sign is right at the end, which I can't show you because I'm sort of blocked here. Oh, I can. It's that chest there. Levers. There you go. Um, so that's how it works. I think that's pretty um, pretty clear. Um, so pr pretty much 
it, it's quite simple. It's just that when you put it all together, it becomes so insanely uh, complicated. Now, another thing I made, for example, is cobblestone. And this is the eventual way I'm going to do the wood one as well. Uh, cobblestone is something I always want to have at least a stack of. Um, again, ignore the redstone. It was, I was messing up the sorting. <laughs> Um, cobblestone is something I always want to have one stack of. So I'm using this um, regulator. And the way this works is it checks in here. So you put, uh, put an item in here and I've put 64 cobblestone in here. Now if 64 cobblestone is in this chest, then it turns on the output here. So at the moment, because there's 64, 64, 13 in here, um, it has enough, so it activates this. And this just goes to a cobblestone generator uh, down here. Down here. So as you can see it's on with a timer. So the timer is off because the um, re receiver is on. Um, but as soon as there's not 60 for cobblestone anymore, it'll turn the timer on and it'll make cobblestone. Yay. Um, that's about it, really. Um, there's some items that are very hard to automate um, without equivalent exchange. So, you know, I just had to... Um, I had to use EE for that. So for that, I have this whole condenser wall, and I believe these two are actually making something. So this one is making redstone. This one is making basalt cobblestone. Um, but I try, I very much try to get every item to be made naturally. So without any equivalent exchange. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's the overview of how the factory works. Um, it's pretty simple, you know. Um, it's only when you start adding 50 rooms or so that it starts to become very um, convoluted. <laughs> um, so the basic premises is you press a button, a signal goes to the receiver that makes the item and makes the materials required for the item. Uh, it gets put in, into a sorting machine and it gets um, shot back in the chest with the, the right collar. And that's pretty much it. That's the simple version. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any other questions about how it works or if you'd like me to sort of remake it maybe on a flat world as a tutorial, I can do that as well. Just let me know. Uh, that'll, be, that'll be about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.